Hi guys, Anne McKinnell here. Thanks for joining me. So today's the day. I'm going to take the plunge and upgrade my Lightroom 6 to Lightroom Classic CC. So why now? Well, uh, you probably know that Adobe isn't supporting the standalone version of Lightroom anymore. Um, but I like Lightroom 6. It still works. Uh, I've been using it all this time and I don't usually upgrade my software every time a new version comes out. I think that's just kind of costly. So I usually use it as long as I possibly can before I upgrade. Uh, but in this case, they're not supporting it anymore. So it's only a matter of time before it stops working with either with my plugins or it stops working with my operating system or something like that's going to happen eventually. And I don't want that to happen while I'm traveling because when we're down south, uh, when we do our snowbird trips to the American Southwest, but I don't have very good internet access. And uh, so I want to get that done while we're here in British Columbia and I've got some good internet. So I'm going to go ahead and upgrade to Lightroom Classic CC. Um, there are two, Lightroom Classic CC and Lightroom CC. Um, if you're used to Lightroom 6 or previous version and you want it to behave the same way, then what you want to do is upgrade to Lightroom Classic CC. It works the same way as the standalone version. Lightroom CC is a little different. I wish they could make the names a little bit more distinguishable from each other, but anyway. Lightroom CC is a little bit different. It's kind of more of a streamlined thing where everything is in the cloud. So I don't want to do that because when I'm traveling, I need to, everything to work and to have access to all of my photos. I like them to be on my computer. So I chose Lightroom Classic CC. Now, before you begin, before I began, there are a number of things that I did, some of which I do every time I'm going to make a significant change to my computer. And you should probably do these things too. So first of all, um, check the system requirements for your computer and for Lightroom Classic CC and just make sure that your computer is going to be compatible before you start. Once you've established that, you want to open Lightroom and create a backup of your Lightroom catalog. Okay, so uh, you can go into your Lightroom preferences and just set how often you want that to happen. I have, have mine set for every time I close, it creates a backup. So create a backup and put that backup on an external drive just to be extra careful. Okay. Um, now there are some things that I do every time, as I said, every time I make a significant change to my computer. And that is I take the opportunity to update my boot drive. So a boot drive is a uh, an external drive. I have mine right here. And you can use that to boot your computer should a uh, disaster occur and you go to turn on your computer one day and nothing happens or something bad happens. You can actually boot your computer from this. It has my operating system and all of my software on it. So it's a good idea to make yourself one of these and to update it every once in a while. Because if you ever need it, you're going to be stuck with whatever your software was at the time that you made the boot drive. So I take the opportunity to update my boot drive. Then I am going to back up all the files on my computer, all of my everything that's not the operating system and the, and the other software I have. So all of my documents and things like that, I'm going to back those up. Now I also back up my photos, of course. Um, I have those on a separate drive from everything else though, because I do it a lot more often. You know, every time I come back from a photo shoot, I download my photos onto my computer and I make a copy of them onto an archive disk. So that's kind of a separate process from all of my other files on my computer. So what else? Um, we've backed up our Lightroom catalog. We have a copy of that. I've got a copy of all of my photos. I've got a backup of all of my documents and I have an updated boot drive. So now I feel safe. Um, doesn't really matter what I do now, I can recover from it. So not that I think that Lightroom is going to do anything bad to your computer, but um, it happens sometimes, it happens to people. So it's better to be safe and create all of these backups before you do anything significant. All right, once you've done that, 
Now we can go ahead and get started with Lightroom Classic CC. Okay, so now that I have done all of my backups and I'm convinced that I can recover from anything bad that might happen at this point, I'm going to go ahead and uh, get started with the Adobe Creative Cloud. So here I am on the Adobe website and uh, I'm going to go here and choose a plan. And now what I want is the photography plan because as I mentioned, I'm going to install Lightroom Classic CC. So I want this photography plan for $9.99 a month and I will click buy now. So my purchase has gone through and now I am looking here at the Adobe Creative Cloud desktop app. Uh, if you don't already have this installed, it's going to install it when your purchase finishes. Um, and if you do, it will probably update. Mine did. It, uh, it updated the Creative Cloud desktop app so that now it shows all of the other apps I have access to. So you can access this app at any time by clicking this uh, funny little icon in the uh, top right of your screen. I just turn it on and off like that. So now I am going to go ahead and install Lightroom Classic CC. So make sure you pick the right one here. We want to do Lightroom Classic CC and I'm just going to click this down arrow here and see what's here. Other versions, no. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and click update. You're updating to Lightroom Classic CC. All right, I'm just going to click advanced options and see what's under here. Uh, remove old versions. I don't want it to remove Lightroom 6 right now. I would prefer to install this and make sure everything works the way I like it and then I'll go ahead and remove the old version after. So I'm going to go ahead and click update. Fingers crossed. Okay, well it's been over an hour now and uh, it looks like we're at 32 percent. So I don't know what's up with that. Uh, one of the reasons I chose to do it right now is because I have a a really solid and fast internet connection, so uh, I guess I'll just let it go and see what happens. All right, well, I got busy doing something else there and I didn't really notice when this finished. So uh, after one hour, it was at about 30% and now it's been two hours and it's done. So uh, I'm just gonna go ahead now and click open. All right, so it looks like Lightroom wants to update my catalog to um, the new Lightroom Classic CC. So I'm just going to click upgrade and I'm not worried about this because I already have a backup of my old Lightroom catalog. And it also looks like it's going to rename that catalog to Lightroom Catalog-2. So it's not going to overwrite my other catalog in any case. So I'll go ahead and click upgrade. Now I have all of my photos in the same Lightroom catalog. So this could take a while. It'd be interesting to see how long this takes. Now, if you have your photos in multiple catalogs, you'll have to go through this upgrade process for each of the catalogs that you intend to keep using with uh, Lightroom Classic. All right, well, it looks like that didn't take nearly as long as I thought it would. That only took a couple of minutes. And I just got a message there that it converted my presets. So, all right, welcome to Lightroom Classic CC. So I guess that's it. I'm gonna have a little look around now and make sure everything is the way I expect it to be. And I think I'm gonna be just about done. So I'll learn more about this stuff later. I'm just gonna click the OK button for now. And I'm just gonna have a quick look around over here and 
It looks like all of my folders that I generally use to store my photos are here and uh, I have all of my collections. These all look familiar. Just click on Scotland here. That's my most recent one I've been working on and looks like all my previews and everything are here. Um, what can I do? I'm going to click one of these images here and just uh, go into the develop module and I'm going to have a quick look at my presets. does look like I am missing some presets for sure. I own a lot of presets so I'm going to have to figure out where those went to. Okay. Um, one thing I'm going to do is go look in the finder and uh, look at my catalog here. And so what do I have going on here now? I used to have my catalog and the previews. All right, so I have my original Lightroom catalog file here, and then I have a whole bunch of other files here that have the dash too. Um, one of them is the catalog and the previews, and I have some other files here that I'm not familiar with, so I'll have to look into what those are. And, um, okay, so one thing I'm going to do is go back into Lightroom here and look at my preferences and just make sure that I have this set to open, yes, right here when starting up, I want to load the most recent catalog and that will be the new one that it just created for me. So that is what I want to have happen. All right, well, now I'm just going to go and take a look and see if I can find out what happened to my presets. There, I just resized my Lightroom window there so it fits into this recording. So the way I'm going to figure out about my presets is by going again into Preferences and I'll go Presets and I'll go Show Lightroom Presets Folder and just see which folder it chooses to open here because it must be a different folder than I was using before. I don't know, something has happened here so we'll check this out and see what's going on. Lightroom and develop presets and I have a whole bunch of presets here. So, hmm, curious. All right, so I did a little bit of research on that problem and what I found out was it just seems to be a little glitch. All I did was close Lightroom and open it again and now all my presets are here. So that's good. Um, good to know though, in case that happens to you, if you have missing presets, just exit out of the program and uh, open it up again. Hopefully all of your presets will reappear as mine did. So I'm going to do a separate video um, about the new features that are in Lightroom Classic. So you can look forward to that coming up very soon. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.